James Maloney from the Irish Farmers Journal here with Harold Goulding, sales support specialist with Agco here in Stoneley. Uh, Harold, we're on the 57 uh, 13 tractor, a very popular Irish tractor. Um, there's a few new features after coming through it, Harold. Maybe you might take us through a couple of them there just for the uh, the Irish viewers back at home. Yeah, how are you, James? Um, um, too bad now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose the big thing is on the joystick very very popular on our uh, efficient spec tractors and that's up through the 57 all the way up to the 77 model so the, the, this joystick hard it's working the loader there i can that's right yeah. yeah i can see it going up and down there what you can also use that joystick is for your hydraulics on the rear of the tractor and, and you can go up through your gears you have your forward and reverse so your forward and reverse uh, through the gears there and that's your forward and reverse and you have a deep clutch button on the back just behind here, hard right. is it? Yeah, yeah. What's new then to that joystick as well is you can assign different functions to your H3 and H4. These are these buttons here, Harold, the H3 yeah. and H4. So where for a loader, they're your third service, but if you have your loader switched off, then you can control linkage on the back, you can control your engine rev, your C1, your cruise gears, C2. So depending, so depending on what job you're doing, you can. Yeah, so there, there are two words. How many different programs can be assigned to either H, H2, H3, or H4? H3, it's seven different ones. Seven, seven. and you can you do it from the dash in do here, Harold. Do, do, do it through the dash, so you can see. You can go across, come to your come to your joystick menu, come up here and switch it on, and then you come down and you can assign your H3 or H4. So you've got your cruise automatic A there, your diff lock, four wheel drive. That's it, just off if you don't want it blank. Yeah. Your lift linkage up and down. So where that would come in is if you're plowing or something, you want to just drop your plow and then free up your H4 for something else like your automatic A button. Uh, yeah, or you could even have it for a turnover under RAM for turn over your plow. There's an electro well, electro well, spools, well, mechanical well, spools. Well, you're yeah. just gonna you're gonna on your little joystick you're gonna yeah. set up your, your your timer on your hydraulics, so yeah. set it up for six seconds or whatever and then drop your linkage on your hands straight. So technically speaking I could turn over the plow here by pushing this lever to the side like that. Yeah but you could just set it up on a say pump for six seconds, seven seconds, so you just go once and she'll turn the plow for you. What's the hydraulic output on this tractor Harold in its current spec? Uh, with this one so if you have the twin flow you're up to uh, over a hundred litres a minute. Yeah. Um, very fast controls. Yeah, for a loader it's brilliant and probably most popular with us is the, is the twin flow and it's just as simple as switching it on and off on the pillar up there. Just switch it on up there. Oh, I see it held there, yeah. yeah. That B pillar is quite busy on this tractor. It's um, So you have all the functions for all draft. You have your uh, draft control, you have your uh, drop rate on your linkage and your maximum height. Maximum height. So that's standard. So that's standard right from our 57 all the way up to our all the way up to our 77 model. Pretty good. And uh, this this bu blue button here, how this blue button is it's a fast way of setting up your hydraulic flow. So we were back in our Just say these are all the same Harold here. Yep. These navigation menus they don't they are standard. Standard on the 57 right up to the 87 model. There seems to be a lot going on like that, Harold. That you're you, you're kind of making the the Massey Ferguson tractor be at home from the 57 right up to the 77. Yeah, well it's, it's just to yeah, standardize everything so you're yeah. jumping on from one tractor to the other. Smoother for training, smoother for the operator, handier for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the little blue buttons then. So it's just a fast way of setting up your hydraulic flow, be it for your loader or your electric spools on the rear. You can just set it up in 25% increments or you can also set it in a, a memory. So when you're holding your Oh, I see it there, Harold. It's up there now. I'm pressing it. It's yeah. at, it's at 25, 25 0, and 100. So yeah. then if you want, you can set up your speed. So you just hold the lever, press the memory button and you watch the dash. And it's already set it to 20 straight away. Straight away. Very easy. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a fast way of, of setting your hydraulic flow. The other uh, button, Harold, uh, this is quite intriguing, and this one is the uh, just is the changing from the, the automatic to pedal mode from the that'll go up to the ranges. That's right. So it's again standard on from 57 all the way up to the to the uh, 77 model. So you change between stick mode and pedal mode. And you, you can see that there, it's the diagram of the pedal and the diagram of the stick. Right. Yeah. And you can, it comes up in the dash. dash. Changes up the dash, yeah. And when you're in pedal mode, you can wind it back into auto. 
by using the inside scroll all the way to auto. So ideal for road work. So I'm in I'm in auto and I, I auto, get, but you can only go a maximum of one A at the moment. So if you uh, so I, scroll if I, your outside scroll, uh, if I scroll my outside all, I can all see the, the gears going up. Correct. Yep. And this will go to the maximum speed of fifty k. Speed, yeah. Or forty k. Forty k on this, yeah, yeah.